Jensen! You asshole, you cost me my job! Slow down. What happened? What happened? They found out I let you into the morgue. That's what happened. They canned me. Wayne, I'm sorry. You didn't deserve any of this. Damn right I didn't. That's the second time you screwed me over. I know. And I want to make it up to you for everything you've been through. Seraph Industries lost a lot of good people in the last six months, and we could use someone like you. Oh, really? You're not saying that just to say it. Talk to HR. Tell them I recommend you. Corporate security pays more than being a cop, and you won't be stuck behind a desk. Jeez, I... Yeah. Okay. I need the work, but this better be on the level. It is. None of this is your fault, so let me make it right. Yeah. I just... I should sit down, you know? It's been a long week, and then all this crap, but... Thanks. I mean it. Commented on the images. I want the world to know that we are... Jensen, Sarov had me have the convention center security logs for you. Sandoval signed out. He isn't there. Taggart will know where he went. You really think he'll tell you in the middle of a riot? In front of all the media? He will if I ask real nice. Well, if that doesn't work, he also has a dressing room backstage. Seems to me a man like Taggart must keep close track of his employees. Speaking of which, I also backtraced that breach in our own firewall. The one Sarov opened but forgot to tell us about. The one he was using right before he hired me. Right. Looks like our boss was being chatty with a private detective named Brent Radford. He lives on Earl's Court. In case you want to get chatty with him, too. Human evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Taggart. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph scientists could cover it up. Oh, I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second, as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Sereth and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation vote, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraph scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against Humanity Front, and you are our prime suspect. You got a lot of nerve to accuse me of lying. I'm not the one standing in front of a crowd of people hiding my involvement in kidnapping and murder. My involvement, Mr. Jensen? Your recording doesn't prove that. I know why you came here instead of taking your recording to the police. I know the real reason for your accusations, and you're not entirely to blame for what you're doing. It is common, after trauma such as the one you suffered, to fixate on the event, to stay blocked in the past. In a word, you're obsessed. I can worry about myself later. What's really important now is the five innocent people whose lives were stolen from them during that attack. Sandoval knows where they are. 
Now where is he? I... I don't want to see anyone's lives stolen from them. If you could see your situation clearly, you would realize you're being driven by your losses. Your actions are motivated by an attempt to regain a sense of control at my expense. You're turning me into your enemy when I'm not. I don't have to make you my enemy, Taggart. Your actions speak for themselves. You started the anti-augmentation movement, and now anti-augmentation terrorist groups are making headlines every day. You always say Humanity Front isn't violent. But look outside. We're seeing proof that it is. The violence is a terrible thing. I do not advocate it, but nor can I deny it exists. I founded Humanity Front to prevent others from suffering the way I suffered. After an augmentation addict murdered my wife. I did it to reduce the amount of violence in this world. But you cannot understand such an approach. That's why you falsely claim my people are involved in terrorist acts. You're mistaken and you're lying. I know about your wife's murder, Mr. Taggart, and how it led you to start Humanity Front. I've lost someone close to me too, but I have a chance to get her back. If Sandoval is involved in Megan's abduction in any way, he dishonored your wife's memory. For her sake, and for the sake of my people, I need to know where he is. All right, Mr. Jensen. You're right. For Marjorie's sake, I can't risk tainting the integrity of what I built in her name. I'll help you find Isaiah, and I pray that you are wrong about him. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but I'm going to have to beg your indulgence for a few moments more. If you will all please remain patient, I will return as soon as I can. Thank you. Mr. Jensen, I'll see you backstage. Mr. Jensen, I appreciate you allowing me to deal with this in a more discreet manner. Save it, Taggart. You've wasted enough of my time as it is. Now, where's Sandoval? He has an apartment he uses when in this city, on Grand River Road. He mentioned he was feeling very run down, so I can only assume he went there. I see. He's not an evil man, Mr. Jensen. If he's done what you say, it's only because of his brother, Ezekiel. A man you might know better as Zeke Sanders. Sanders? The man who attacked Sarah's manufacturing plant? I knew nothing about it until after it was over, and then I tried. I, I tried to convince Isaiah not to follow in his footsteps. Good job. Mr. Jensen, please. Isaiah has done so much for so many needy people. People suffering from implant rejection. Promise me you will deal with him fairly. That all depends on Isaiah. I... I understand, but... Please try. Pritchard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Why do we always get assigned to the shittiest spots? Yeah, why would anyone come down here? I think they're afraid someone's gonna try to sneak a bomb into the Doc's locker. I'd be more worried about what's in the Doc's head than what's in his locker. And this is why I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. I say yes. If you're watching this, I beg you, do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything we have struggled to achieve. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years patching people back together from augmentation botch jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. 
You really want to help someone? Tell me where Seraph's scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen. But my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Seraph's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now. On a frequency so low, your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You changed the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but my court will be a higher one. How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt, the shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. So stay alive long enough to tell him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. For years I gave him loyal service and he betrayed me. He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, he'll never be able to use me again. So that's your plan? Just lay down and die so you can't be used again? That's bullshit. You need to face what's coming. There's a very thin line between martyr and victim, Sandoval. And if you pull the trigger, you won't be remembered as either. You certainly like taking chances, Mr. Jensen. But your point has merit. Maybe I did give up too easily. It wasn't enough to be a doctor. Or to attack the infection at its source with Humanity Front. I had to try harder to help people, and I pushed too far. What else could I have done? How do people live in a world surrounded by human misery every day? Or am I the only person who feels this way? You've got to be kidding me. You can do anything you put your mind to. You've earned yourself a doctorate. You became second in command to one of the most powerful men in the country. And you still kept trying harder. You've got more spirit than most people who think they're successful. Spirit isn't the same as strength, Mr. Jensen. For it to work, it needs to be pushed in the proper direction. How did it come to this? People died in that kidnapping, and I helped plan it. I might as well have killed those people myself. I can no longer look my wife in the eyes, and she's the person I love and trust more than anyone in this world. There's simply no place for me among humanity anymore. We all have problems, Sandoval. We all have something to atone for. You, me, even Taggart. Your wife will understand that, as will the rest of your family. They'd rather see you live and atone for what you've done than watch you die in shame. Whatever lies ahead, they aren't gonna let you face it alone. I wish I had your certainty, Mr. Jensen, but you are correct. For the sake of my family, I must give this another try. Take the gun. I don't need it anymore. Pritchard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But, but they could be broadcasting anywhere in the world. 
I don't have the type of equipment we'll need to find them. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen, the riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. You don't need to babysit me, Mr. Jensen. I have no intention of killing myself anymore. Nor will I resist arrest when the police arrive. I assume your people have already contacted them? If they haven't yet, they will be soon. Then go. Use the information I gave you to track down your scientists. With any luck, they will still be alive. The men who kidnapped them? The soldiers? I don't know who they were. Only last names. Barrett and Namir. I sensed they were highly trained professionals. Working for who? I didn't ask. My brother, Ezekiel, put them in touch with me. Your brother? Not Taggart? Bill wouldn't be so stupid as to get his own hands dirty. I see that now. He's like Teflon. Nothing ever sticks. And moral responsibility. Nice detective work, Jensen. You ready to return to HQ? Yeah. Let's hope Pritchard's found that frequency. You said it. a message for you, Jensen, from Pritchard. He says he's not in the office. Great. So what exactly am I supposed to do? I don't know. He said you should check in with the boss. Seraph? David's just stepped out for a moment, Mr. Jensen. But do come in. I've been hoping to meet you. Mr. Darrow, I'm surprised you even know who I am. David speaks very highly of you. He says that when it comes to detective work, you are like a dog with a bone. Have you found your scientists yet? What else did David tell you? Over the years, plenty. But today I'm here as a friend and fellow scientist. Things are getting quite turbulent out there, wouldn't you agree? So many people drunk on revolution. The United Nations being urged to intervene. And all because of the technology I created. Things have come a long way since then. Haven't they? And now my old friend David wants me to lead us to the Promised Land. He's asked me to invite members of the UN to Panchea to convince them we don't need industry regulation. Your geoengineering project in the Arctic Ocean. The installation couldn't have been built without the assistance of augmented workers. And when it's finished, my little hole in the ocean is going to stop global warming. A lovely photo op, wouldn't you say? If it works. You mean, if it doesn't kill us all? Adam? You're back. Uh, can I speak to you outside? Get to the helipad, son. You're going back to Hengsha Island. Frank tracked down one of the GPLs. Only one? Is it? Sevchenko's. But Adam, we had to call in a favor of the DOD to do it. Meaning? The conspirators probably know I'm coming.
Boss said we're heading back to Hangsha. Pritchard tracks Evchenko's GPL signal. If he's alive, there's a chance the rest of them are too. That's a pretty big leap, Jensen. We've been making big leaps for a while now. Whatever you say. You ready to get going? No time like the present. Let's get going. Then hop in. Spy boy. Spy boy? Hengshaw traffic control just revoked our clearance. We're being rerouted to another part of the city. I don't like that. I suppose you can't just ignore them. <laughs> yeah, right. Chinese government. I've got to comply. Bravo Echo Echo 008, proceeding to designated coordinates. What the hell? We've got a Sam left on our tail. <laughs> Malik, we've got company. I know, but the bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Zinchenko. I'll be fine. Don't be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. Jensen, the bird's fixed and I'm taking off. Now get on with the damned mission. And thanks, spy boy. <laughs> <laughs> 